Welcome to the Mustard Seed Media video podcast. My name is Bob, and this is the podcast for Drupal web designers. Last week on the podcast, we talked about a new awesome module called Display Suite. If you missed it, go back to episode 40 and check that out. Uh, you're going to need to know sort of what was in that one, along with another previous episode we did, in order to uh, be able to really follow along today. Here's what happened. Over the week, a bunch of people uh, that are following us on Twitter or Facebook said, hey, could you do more on Display Suite? You covered the basics, but I would love to see a more advanced version. And I said, sure we could, that would be great. Uh, because Display Suite, uh, there's so much to it that uh, I just couldn't cover it in one podcast. So today we're gonna do Display Suite Advanced. Uh, but like I said, you're gonna have to go back and watch the other Display Suite video if you haven't yet to understand exactly what we're doing here. Moral of the story, follow us on Twitter or join our Facebook group. And that is the place to ask questions, give feedback, uh, give us some comments, stuff like that. And we will happily respond. You can find links to both of those over at mustardseedmedia.com up in the top right corner. So Display Suite, we're gonna dive right in. Uh, let's look at, real quick, last week's video, uh, Display Suite, episode 40. I'm gonna link to this from our current uh, episode. And you're also probably gonna wanna know episode 37, which is node references. We're gonna use these a little bit today as well. Uh, so you'll probably wanna review that just to, so you kind of get what's going on there. Uh, so Display Suite module, again, this is a API module. You gotta download a bunch of other displays, uh, other modules with it to work. Uh, we're gonna mostly focus on the node displays today because that's what most people wanna do and uh, it can sure to show the full range of what's going on. So the site that we're building today, uh, think about yelp.com if you're familiar with that. It's just gonna be a review site. We're gonna take a, a business and we're gonna add a review to it uh, so people can review businesses. So we have two node types, we have businesses and we have reviews, and we're gonna no use node relations uh, to put those two together. So go back and watch that other video on node relationships or node references uh, so you understand what's going on there. Uh, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna lay this out using Display Suite. So here's my main node. This is my business. This is a business node. So let's go into Display Suite into our layout, and we're gonna just lay out the full node as we showed last week. So I'm gonna drop the photo on the left side uh, along with the website and the address. Um, I'm gonna put the links on the right side because we're gonna use that for the, for the adding a review link. Uh, we're gonna put the description of the business in the middle. Um, and I think that's it. So let's save that. And then we'll go back and we'll look at our business. We've got a new layout here. We've got our uh, description in the middle. We've got our links, which include add a review on the right side. And we've got some other information on the left. Uh, something you'll note here is that this is actually an image that we want to show. And this is something I didn't show last week, pa uh, por uh, partially because I thought it was self-explanatory, but I'll go over it real quick. <clears throat> As I mentioned last week, this Display Suite screen is a drop-in replacement for the Drupal content or the Drupal Fields display screen. Uh, so it's got some of the same stuff such as formats and labels, but they're a little bit more powerful, at least the labels are. So formats are the same as if you were formatting uh, your fields using the standard CCK uh, field display screen uh, in Drupal. So I'm gonna choose medium image. This is an image cache preset, which integrates nicely here. And I'm gonna save that and I'll go back and I'll refresh. And you can see I've now got my image showing up there nicely. Uh, so let's look at labels as well. This is uh, very cool. These work just like labels uh, in the standard Drupal CCK uh, label field display stuff. Um, so I can have it hidden above inline. So for address, let's put uh, put it above. Website, we're gonna drop it inline. That means it's next to the, next to the field as opposed to above it. Uh, and let's save those and we can see that those are gonna show up real nice and neat. We've got address and we've got website uh, displayed how we want them to. But let's say we want this website to say something else. Uh, normally in CCK, in Drupal core, we can't really change this label. This is just the label of whatever we named our field when setting it up. Very nice thing about Display Suite is we can just click edit, put in a new title. You'll see that then reflected here. We can click save and you can see that it's now being reflected on this page. So that's basic, simple layout, uh, stuff we sort of covered last week. Now I've got a node relationship going on here. Let's add a review. So this is a review node just related to the business. You can see that right here. 
using all the techniques in the node relationship video uh, from a few weeks ago. I'm going to put in a title. I've got five star going. I'm going to rate it. Uh, I'm going to put in a body, just some junk text here. Oops. Let's bring that back. Um, and I'm going to save this. So now we've got a review. That's all fine and dandy. But the problem is, if we go back to our business, we have no reviews showing on this page. So we want the reviews to show here. Now, if you go back to a views attached video we did, you could see, oh, you could make it a views attached field. I'm going to use a display suite to, um, to show this. So something I sort of skipped through last week real quick was this node displays field screen. And one of the things I mentioned was you can add a new block field. Basically, this is sort of doing the same thing as views attached, but you can use other blocks. You can use anything you want. You can attach a block as a field within this node. This is very cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a field key. Uh, I've already created a view. Actually, let's look at it real quick. I've created a view that's going to show all my relate or view that's going to show all my related reviews. So I've just created a block using a, uh, the node relation uh, CCK field as my argument. Uh, same stuff as always. Uh, and I've just created this block. So I want that to display on uh, my business uh, and to show me all of the reviews related to that business. So I'm going to just uh, create a field. Uh, the field key here is just, uh, just like it is in an image cache preset and CCK and creating a view. It's just a machine readable name. And then I'm going to put a title for this. Now this next part, field exclude, is a little bit confusing. It's sort of backwards of what at least I think it should be. Uh, field exclude means which of the content types do we not want this block to show up on? So I do not want it to show up on reviews because I only want it to show up on my businesses. Uh, so that seems a little backwards. You can also select all here. If we go down to our blocks, you'll see that this block selector is all of our blocks in our Drupal install. So we can grab any block and display it on our node uh, as a field here. But I'm going to do something a little fancier using arguments. I'm going to choose my reviews for businesses that I created in views. And when we do block render, you can see we can either render it through the block template, which is the normal way to render a block, or we can skip the block template, only show title and content, or only show block content. I'm going to just render it through the block, and I'm going to save this. So now if we go back to our businesses and we refresh, you're going to see we've got a new field here available called reviews. I'm going to drop that in my right sidebar, and I'm going to save it. And then if I go back to my uh, business, you can see that I now have my block showing all related reviews. Now, if you've been paying attention, you know that we somehow have to pass an argument into this. Where the heck did we do that? This is a downfall of Display Suite. You can't manually pass an argument into these blocks right now. I would love to see a PHP field that lets you do that um, when uh, adding the block under the uh, Display Suite fields. But right now, you can't. So what you have to do uh, on this one, under Arguments, I've chosen just to provide a default argument and chosen the node ID from the URL. This limits us a bit because we can only use node ID, node I, uh, user ID from URL, or user ID from logged in uh, user. Of course, we could use PHP code and stuff like that. Um, that gives us a little flexibility, so maybe it's not necessary, but it would be nice um, to have that um, all set up for me. So um, I'm just going to update this. Uh, we didn't do anything to that view. And so that is how the uh, review or the um, argument is being passed in for this block. So what we've done is we've used the um, the node displays fields to create this reviews block. Let's use the other one. So let's use add new code field. This is just generic code. This is a PHP box. We can do anything and add our own custom field to this display suite setting. So I'm just going to add a welcome message. And I'm going to have it show in my business by excluding review again. And I'm just going to put in my PHP code. I'm going to just say global user to load the user currently logged into the site. And I'm going to print welcome. Oops. And then user name. So absolutely nothing fancy at all here. You can do anything you want. Note that you have access to the entire node data. So normally a block does not have access to all the node data. Something you're going to want to notice, though, is in the note below this field, if you want to use that node data, uh, the variable is called object, not node. So uh, definitely, this is very cool. You can't do this in blocks normally. Blocks are usually outside the scope of the node. 
So we have access to everything we want here. We can create our custom field. Notice this can also use tokens. So you can toggle the checkbox if you're putting tokens in here and you got a full list of your tokens here. So I'm going to save this code field and I'm going to go back to my layout for my business. And in here, you're going to see a new thing called welcome. I can drop this in the right sidebar just above the view. And I'm going to uh, now see it added here. It just says welcome and then it grabbed and put in my, uh, my username. Very straightforward stuff, very cool. Let me show you one more thing uh, using some user data. So if I go to my review here, <clears throat> I'm going to now edit uh, my layout for my review itself. I'm going to put the business name in the left sidebar. Um, well, I'm going to put it at the top. I'm going to put the core body, which is the actual review itself, in the middle. And uh, I'm going to put... Uh, Oh, I don't know, the rating in the middle as well, and a post date in the top. I'm just sort of randomly doing that. <clears throat> Hopefully it'll work out. And so now we see we've got a basic layout here. Uh, but one thing I want to do is I've created a view that will show the current, uh, or the person that reviewed this restaurant or this business or whatever it is. Um, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to show the user picture uh, I'm using arguments the same way I did in the last example. I'm choosing user ID from URL and I'm going to say look uh, for a node and use the node author. Uh, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my display suite, user displays. Actually node displays, I'm sorry. And I'm going to go to fields again. <clears throat> and I'm going to add a new block field. And I'm going to choose my user block. And I'm going to exclude business because I only want to show on reviews. And so now I can go into my review layout. And I have author of the review. I'm going to drop that in the left sidebar. Hit save. This is actually pulling it out of uh, my profile. And I now have uh, my uh, profile image showing right there using basically the same, same kind of thing that I was doing uh, with the node. Obviously, I'm going to have to mess with some layout here uh, since it's getting messed up. But you can see that generally you can drop blocks in there. You can do some really cool advanced stuff. Now, this has covered most of Display Suite. There's some little things that you should be able to figure out from this. There's other, there's user displays, there's views displays. Views let you lay out your custom views. Uh, you know, put your views header in a certain spot, put your views pager somewhere else, do that kind of stuff. It's pretty straightforward. But this covers Display Suite. Uh, allows you to do some very cool stuff. To me, this is the future of theming in Drupal. Uh, excited to see what, uh, where this goes, where it happens in, in Drupal 7. If you'd like to comment on the episode, jump over to episode 41, which is at mustardseedmedia.com slash podcast slash episode 41. Uh, ask your questions there or follow us on Facebook and Twitter, as I mentioned earlier. And hopefully you can start using Display Suite. I know I'm going to. This is very powerful stuff. You can see that it can start to replace panels with a much simpler, much cleaner interface. I like it. Come on back next week. I think we're going to do something with either Views Rotator or Views Carousel uh, or Views Slideshow, showing you how to theme those They're very powerful modules. Uh, also, don't forget, if you want to throw some money at the podcast, we have a chip-in widget. You can also chip in through TwitPay if you use that kind of thing through Twitter. Um, and we appreciate all of your donations to keep the podcast going. That's it for now. Have a great week.